Well guys, Chris Vint, back with another issue. Uh, again, I didn't do the inverted commas, so yay. Uh, today is just going to be a video to do with pickups um, that I got today while I was up in Belfast, um, which was a good, fun trip. Um, so there were three different comic book shops that I went to. I also got something through the post, so I'll go through that first. So major props go to Retro Rebel, Robbie Rebel, who I've seen on this channel. Um, who sent me these here, I sent him some comics and he asked if there was anything I needed picked up and he sent these. Um, so I have hold on here, Nova number 11. Really started to try and get back into Nova, I really enjoyed reading it. Um, kind of like a really underrated series like um, uh, Ms. Marvel is in my opinion. Uh, Nova Unchained number 15. Uh, Nova number 16. Um, he also sent me Amazing X-Men, number 9, another really, really good series, really enjoying reading it. Uh, number 11, I have ordered number 10 from Disposable Heroes for 2 quid, which wasn't bad. And number 12, speaking of Disposable Heroes, this is my um, pull um, for this month. Um, so I have He-Man and Masters Universe, number 19, the prelude to the uh, Eternity War, uh, which starts in December. Already pre ordered the first one because uh, it was a variant cover for the same price. Uh, Superior Iron Man, number two, really enjoyed the first issue. Still read. All these comics I've still read, and I just have not had a chance to. Uh, Cyclops, number seven. And uh, because obviously with Comic Cons and things like that, I decided to pick up a blank variant of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters, uh, just in case I want to get like something drawn on it. So I uh, decided to do that. Now, I'll start with. The one that Robbie called the junk shop, um, I went in and bought a couple of comics there. Um, so I got Mortal Adventures 2 and 1, um, featuring Hulk and Fantastic Four, uh, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, I also got Origins of Marvel Comics X Men. Uh, it's just a one shot, it was only two quid for this, so I thought I might as well try it and see. Following on with the Nova, I got Uncanny X Men Special. Uh, part 1 of 3, now one of the Nova parts is part 3 of 3, so I need to find out what part 2 is, which is this one here. Um, it's quite good. And I also got um, the first issue of um, Hawkeye, um, the limited series, which was £3, which is this one here. Just thought for 3 quid, might as well try it and see what it's like. So then we went to um, myself and Enya, a good friend of mine. Um, who um, spent the day with, good fun, so thanks for that, and if you're watching. Uh, went in and picked up a Astonishing X-Men number 19. I can't remember if I have this one or not, but it's a variant cover anyway. And also got um, issue 2 of Nova, which was only 3 quid. Uh, this was obviously back from some time, I don't know when. Yeah. Uh, and issue number 3 which was again three pounds. So, yeah, I love the back effort there. Look who's smiling now. And your game is specialised. Now your glove is too, if you want to play baseball. You Spalding. And then we went into Forbidden Planet, and this is where things get interesting. Basically, I don't know if it's a Black Friday deal or something like that, but all our back issues were a pound. Now, Whenever we went in, it must have been about maybe half 11, 12 o'clock, there was a fellow working upstairs, and I don't think he knew his arse from his elbow, to be perfectly honest. Um, and he went up, um, downstairs obviously is where the new comics are, and then upstairs are some back issues and things like that. So we actually went, she had noticed that there was a couple of Lego variants, um, Lego variant um, DC ones, and she picked up a Harley Quinn one and some other one, I can't remember what it was. But she took them upstairs, and then while well, we're going to the cash register, she bought like some other comics, and he charged her a pound for them. Now, whenever I tried that, uh, it didn't work. I don't know whether um, it's because I'm a man, let's just say. Um, no, we're joking. Um, I think it was just a case of he just got flustered and just, you know, said all back issues were a pound, and anyone who came up with a comic like that was a pound. So, all these ones here were a quid. Now obviously some of these are priced at like £3.30 so there was comics that I wanted to pick up and hadn't done before so now was a prime time to do that. So I got Nova number 5. I have a funny feeling I already have this one 
uh, coming to me. Um, I got the first six issues for a tenner off that um, comic books for sale, but they still haven't arrived, even though I paid for them on Monday, so I need to chase that up. I uh, got issue number 10, which is um, number 100 altogether. I got issue 12. It's a really cool cover of this. Kind of looks like he's all broken and stuff. Um, issue 13. Uh, issue 14, which again is part of the Unchained series. Issue 17, I just love the cover of this. It says, okay, dummies, my brother is sleeping, so this is your only warning. Buy this comic or I'm going to come over to your house and rip up all your Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's obviously whenever the film's come out and it's been mentally popular. Uh, 19. And then there was a special here, which is part three, three of No End in Sight. Um, so as I say, I need to find out what part two of that is and try and chase that down. Um, another one that I've been wanting to get, oh, I didn't actually pick up the other one. I didn't know if I had or not. Um, was a Amazing Spider-Man learning to crawl. So I got 1.3, as you can see there, you know, it was meant to be 3.50, one point. Um, 1 1.4. I forgot that I, there was that many of them that I had in my hand. I kind of can't remember what I picked up and what I didn't pick up. Um, another one that I'd been reading was The Trial of Jean Grey. Um, so I have part three of five there. I already have part one of five. And, no, we have part three of five and then, oop, and then it says here part five of six. So there is like a checklist in that anyway. And then I picked up uh, Thanos. I got up there listening. Because I heard Robbie and Mark talking about this, so I thought I'd give it a try. Because the other one I had, the Uprising or something, it was like a six-part issue, uh, six-part series. It was brilliant. Really, really enjoyed that. Um, Ms. Marvel number three. It's a second printing, but just a really for a pound, like uh, issue five. And then I picked up Magneto um, issue one, first print, which I thought was kind of cool. And issue two, which is a third printing, but again for a pound, you're not going to be, you know, calling about that. But there was so much other stuff that I was going to pick up. You know, there was some amazing Spider-Man, like number four and five, which I don't have. But it was a case of, you know, um, I had picked up some spectacular Spider-Man for Mr. Newton. Um, go check out his channel as well. Um, so yeah, that's. Also got the previews thing, so I've kind of been flicking through that, um, the Marvel part of it, not any other part as yet. Um, but that's, yeah, that's basically my haul for today. Um, as I say, I don't think it would have been as big as that if those Forbidden Planet issues weren't to pound. Um, I think I would have probably just left it, uh, to be honest. They had no advertising there whatsoever. It was just a case of if somebody came up buying one, then it would go like, all oh, back issues are a pound. And I was just like, oh, right, okay. So I did text uh, Robbie and... Mark and Johnny as well, uh, just to let them know about that in case it was the same in their area. So, yeah, um, so thanks for watching. Um, keep flicking the pages, and until next time.